everyone you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for this happy year please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again god bless you the leader of the indigenous people of biafra nandi kano has urged his followers and sympathizers to remain optimistic according to him his trying phrase is at the verge of extinction Kano's counsel, Ifrani Ejafo, disclosed this as Kano's stand after he paid the IPOB leader a visit in the core study of the Department of State Services on Monday. He said, the routine court ordered visit to our client, Onyendo Mazi Nandikano, has just been concluded. We had incisive review of compelling legal processes we are exploring to ensure that the remaining seven count charge still pending is permanently laid to rest. Onyendo extends his heartfelt gratitude to all Umuchineke for remaining stand first and undeterred. He is, as usual, profoundly as impressed by your demonstration of a common discipline unity, understanding, loyalty, and forthrightness. Onyendo observed that this trying phrase is at the verge of extension and the name of Chukwo Keke Abiyama will be entirely glorified. Onyendo emphasized on vigilance, particularly in times like this, and highly commended you all for your peaceful conduct, even on the face of seemingly unprovoked attacks, he encouraged you all to always be on guard. Even in your prayers and supplications to the Almighty Chineke Abiyama, he assured that we, the legal team, are not leaving any stone untouched towards achieving Onyendo's freedom, and it will surely end in praise soon. I thank you all and remain blessed. Omochineke, we move. Kano is currently facing charges bordering on terrorism and treasonable felony. Namde Kano is a strong man. Even with all these that is happening to him, he still has faith that he's going to pass over this. Okay, guys, let's hear what Nigerians who have reacted to this have to say. The first person I have here said, well done, brother, like no other. God has done it. His praise shall continually be in our mouth. God is with you, sir. And the world is also watching. We, the people of Biafra, can never, ever forget what you did for us. Free Mazen Nandi Kano. Okay. The bold lion, you are God's favorite son, sir. Remain resolute because there is light at the end of the tunnel. Someone said, Mazin Nandikano is bigger than Nigeria. <laughs> really? God and all our glory will be to Chuko Keke Abiyama. God bless Mazin Nandikano. God bless Beer Friends and God bless Ipo. These are reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. Of Biafra, I stand with you. Igbo people, I know one day must be one day. <laughs> and in the end, victory shall be achieved. Kachineke. All right, these are reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. Someone said, Oga, brain, don't reset for DSS custody. Is now a preacher of peace. Paul Kano. <laughs> May God keep you strong and well all through this trying moment is say biafra forever now the canoe don't use biafra play too old for bed niger <laughs> we love you mazin nam the canoe we are waiting for your arrival Onyendo. that is after may have you been sentenced to life imprisonment well that is harsh you have been assuring your gullible followers for the past 11 months they have arrested you hmm? people make not get sense 
To God be thy glory, my senior man. Namdekano is the strongest man ever. God is with you. Then, you are in the hands of God. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. As you can see, my Namdekano still have the faith that what is going through right now is going to be, you know, a phrase. He said, this phrase will pass. He have this faith that is going to be released by Nigerian government. It's not a crime for one to ask for self-determination. It's just that the way the federal government took the whole thing, that is why they are where they are today. You understand? Nigerian government escalated the whole issue. If not, I don't think we should be talking about this. What they would have done is a round table talk, sit on a round table and dialogue. Okay, you said you want Biafra. Let's talk about this and all that. All these, you know, uh, persecute him, crucify him, kill him, this and this, talk here and there and all that. All those words shouldn't have come out at all if the federal government actually handled this, you know, amicably. Though I do not blame them. The Southeast leaders should be blamed for whatever is happening right now in the Southeast. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Can you share your thoughts with us below the comment section? Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.